Hey everybody, um, I'd like to do a little review on this new product that's come out by Proang. Uh, it's the Orion Gearhead. Uh, before, I, and I, what I want to do is talk about all of its features and what it does uh, and what I like about it and what I don't like about it. And, um, but before I do that, let me first tell you that I've got uh, years worth of uh, gearhead experience. I've worked with Panaheads heads and airy heads and um, so I've been there. In fact, I, I actually own a whirl head. So I've been in the gearhead whirl for 30 years. So I was very excited uh, when this product came out and I was uh, very interested in giving it a review and talking about what its features are. So let's get right to it. I was very excited but also a little, little uh, <clears throat> uh, questioning what the uh, quality bill would be on this head because the price range is just perfect. It's, you know, a couple grand, so my goodness, you know, what are, what are you going to get for a couple grand? Well, this is what you get. First off, <clears throat> let's start with the fact that it weighs uh, right at 50 pounds. So that's, uh, that is a drawback and it's also a benefit all at the same time. Uh, the drawback is obviously uh, 49 pounds, I think is what it actually weighs, uh, is a lot to tote around. So this is not a run and gun um, a piece of equipment. This is not gonna be for weddings. It's not gonna be for uh, one man bands or, or small, small crews. This is a production unit. This is for production uh, projects. Uh, when I call production, I'm talking about where you have uh, full crews, you're using grip trucks and all that business, where you've got assistant cameramen, and you've got, you know, it's a production piece. Uh, you only have two hands, so you, you're going to be tied up uh, with your wheels. So from a focus standpoint, you're going to want uh, uh, a, um, a bona fide AC that's working with you. Um, so that's a given, and that is uh, uh, what separates it from a, um, a light, lighter weighted uh, fu uh, uh, fluid head that you would use in a uh, normal interview or, or running and gunning type of material. But this is where the weight uh, becomes a benefit. The stability of your camera is based on uh, your support. And typically, the bigger your support is, the more st uh, stable and the better and the smoother moves that you can make. So if you have um, a, a, a lightweight camera like a DSLR and you're not rigged out and it's pretty much simple in its configuration, you don't have very much weight. And so you're going to be using, most likely, you're going to be using a fluid head that is uh, weighted uh, appropriately. So uh, it's going to be very, very difficult to make really nice production moves. Um, I'm not saying it can't be done. Uh, it's done every day, but it's just a lot more challenging. Um, when you start moving into heavier cameras or if you start rigging out your DSLR to where uh, it becomes more cumbersome, you start adding on all kinds of uh, build-out things, monitors and, uh, and so forth, it uh, becomes a little bit more... Um, uh, uh, difficult to control, so you're going to want a head that's heavier. So this is a tool, just like a crescent wrench is a tool. Uh, you use a crescent wrench for uh, certain things, but you're you're not going <clears> to <throat> you're not going to change a transmission with a uh, with a crescent wrench. You reach for a different tool or tools. Well, this head is exactly the same way. This is a wonderful head for production shots. Uh, and what I'm calling production shots and, and that are rehearsed shots that has precise blocking, uh, precise lighting and precise movement and precise camera pulls and all of that falls into what I call production. This head is perfect for that. Uh, let me talk about the features for, on it for a second. First, in, a, in addition to his weight as being a asset, uh, these, uh, these wheels are weighted which means that they are, they're actually heavy. If you, uh, if you took this off, gee whiz, this, this, this wheel alone um, is probably eight pounds, maybe 10. This, this is a pretty substantial 
pretty substantial wheel and it's quite simple the way it comes on and off it just it has a little little key in there and you just tighten it up but what is so cool about it is it has a fabulous feel it just feels wonderful it has uh, two gears for for tilt and it has two gears for panning you have a slow uh, and a fast and the uh, I am I'm currently in the slow mode and it just feels like butter everything is very well seated in here these uh, these roller guides makes no noise there's no pulling no dragging but the thing I like about it the most and the reason I like uh, why I like uh, gearhead so much is <clears throat> It just, it connects you to the camera. It is an incredible feeling to work with wheels as opposed to working with a fluid head. It's just two different, two different languages all together. So that's my long take on the gear head versus the fluid head. I would say this is a very quality piece of equipment. Uh, this is a real piece of equipment. It's very, very well made, and I'm very happy with it. <clears throat> I just got it. I have not used it in, in the field yet or in a production. I'm shooting some food uh, later today and tomorrow, so I'll be uh, very excited to use it. I have another gear head up there that I'm working with currently, but um, I'm really looking forward to this one. <clears throat> and um, anyway, I hope you found this uh, uh, informative. Um, I would certainly, if you're into production, I would suggest uh, this is a very good buy. And the price is uh, really unbeatable. I mean, you're never going to find a piece of equipment with this much uh, quality build uh, um, and, uh, and workmanship and what a fine feel for this price. Uh, you know, $15,000 head. So, let me know. Thank you.